Martha, you did it again. That trick cooked to perfection. It is even better than my mom's. But don't tell her I said that. This was the best Christmas ever. Uh, I'm so impressed. Your turkey tasted better than mine, which is saying something else. How did you get it to be so moist? I'm so lucky to have you as my daughter-in-law. This was the best Christmas ever. Martha, thanks for doing this all by yourself and without any help from anyone. No wonder your mom's favorite. This was the best Christmas ever. Mom, I never thought I would say this, but that turkey was worth eating meat for. <laughs> it's making me rethink this whole vegan thing. You know, I may even give up tofu for good. This was the best Christmas ever. What a wonderful Christmas performance this evening. Those children sounded like little angels. Our parish is so blessed to have you. And we all agree, this was the best Christmas ever. Martha, news of your fabulous turkey has reached a miracle that anything could have oh, It was like heavenly manna from above. So, we have decided to go ahead and start your beatification process early. By next Christmas, be sent to Martha. Bless you for making this the best Christmas ever. Ho, 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 Martha. I usually consider myself as the one who spreads joy and yuletide cheer throughout the world this time of year. <laughs> but I can confidently say I have been outshined by your dedication to perfecting this holiday season. <laughs> I think I can finally retire now, now that we've had the best Christmas ever. This is going to be the best Christmas ever! What? How? Wake up! Huh? It's December 23rd! We only have two days left till Christmas! Come on, wake up, wake up! I have so much to do! So much to do? You're always worrying about this and that. It'll be fine. It'll all get done. And there's that much left to do. Well, maybe not for you. I only need you to do one thing. Right, get that stuff at that place. <sighs> the floral arrangements for the centerpieces from Trudy's Flower Shop. This is important, Hal, you can't get it wrong. My table pieces will be ruined without those centerpieces. I got it, don't worry. Wow, I can't wait to see how beautiful they look with the baby's breath and the white lilies and the red amaryllis flowers. <gasps> I'm gonna go start that coffee. Oh, that reminds me. I need to iron the tablecloths. I need to get out the good silverware. I need
going to make over the, the spare bedroom for Jimmy. Can't wait to see him tomorrow. The snow is falling gently, it's that season of the year. Christmas lights are twinkling, children laughing, spreading joy and cheer. In the midst of all the struggle, my heart's lighter than the softest feather. I keep making all these grandest plans for the best Christmas ever. All my lists are ready, oh, I cannot get them. My lists are ready, oh, and it's now time to waste. Always smiling, there's no time for me to wait. Starting with the grocery store, the Trudy centerpiece. I'm racing to ensure a masterpiece. It's the best Christmas ever. All my family is gathered. Just wait and see. Grocery list is piling. This feast will be so divine. Every dish I'll make with love, the flavors will combine. As the children sing, the angel choirs bring peaceful healing. I'll keep wishing all these prayers for the best Christmas ever. All my lists are ready. No, I cannot get behind. Oh, relentless clocks, just go ahead, rewind. In a blink, my son returns, filling me with pride. Finally, he'll stand right by my side. It's the best Christmas ever. My family is gathered. Just wait and see. A message from the Lord. Thank you, God, for telling me what I must do. I, I have to go talk to Mary. Mary? Mary? Oh, there you are. I had just received a message from the Lord about our situation. God has confirmed that you are his servant and shall bear his son. Does this mean you will still marry me? Why, yes, of course I will. How can I say no to God? Just think. Living inside you will be the living, breathing Son of God. What an honor it is to be chosen to bring him into the world. Yes, Joseph, but all the glory and honor is God's alone. I am but a simple vessel for his will to be done.
Let the race to grab begin. Shoves are bare, out of stock. As we strive to win. All through the urgency, we're searching for that one left to make our recipe. Chaos, Chaos in the hours until a wild Christmas spree. Scrambling for items, there's no time for Christmas free. Chaos in the hours until a wild Christmas spree. Scrambling for items, there's no time for Christmas glee. Everyone keeps dashing, let's see what I can find before it quickly disappears and makes me lose my mind. Pressure just keeps building, I gotta get supplies. No stopping for us, we had long no time for joy to rise. Was mommy and my daddy, this sea is full of thieves. I just wanna be at my home for yummy Christmas sweets. Chaos in the aisles, it's a wild Christmas spree. Scrambling for items, there's no time for Christmas glee. Chaos in the aisles, it's a warfare, can't you see? Where everyone's my enemy, not one to hear your plea. Hey, move it, lady. Get out of my way. I put an elbow in your face for that very last fruit tray. My only focus is one thing. What's still left on my list? Hey, watch it. No cutting there, or else you'll get my fist. A circus. What was I thinking coming to the store two days before Christmas? My mom, she would have had her list taken care of by now if she were still here. Well, come on, Martha. We've got to do this. Get in, get out, get done. Huh, I gotta start with chips for Beth's dip. I told her that was the only appetizer we were having. Better get a lot. Yeah, better get a lot. Excellent. Now, oh, let's see my list. Ooh, low sodium stuffing for my how. Low sodium stuffing. Ha, huh, there we go. Oh, how nice of you to get this for me. My arthritis has been acting up with this weather. You're such a kind, young woman. Oh, thanks for saying so, but I need this for my owl. The doctor says he's got to watch his sodium, and I cannot have him keeling over on Christmas Eve, now can I? You look like you have been whipping up Christmas masterpiece dinners for many, many, many years. I'm sure you will figure out something wonderful to make. Merry Christmas. How rude. You know spring chicken yourself, dearie. <laughs> If Hal knew the lengths to which I need to go to keep his ticker going. Now, soy milk for my best. Ah, soy milk. Is that it there? Yeah. Is it, is it Martha Miller? Oh, hi, Darlene. Martha, I had no idea you were lactose intolerant. You know, my second cousin Jill on my father's side has a terrible reaction to anything with milk in it. One bite of dairy and she blows up like a scared puffer. No, no, this is for my, uh, this is for my Beth. Oh, Beth, how is she? I heard she's going through a divorce. Beth is fine. She's on a new. No meat, no dairy, no sugar, no fun. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what I ran into down at the post office the other day. My father John himself. And we got to talking about the Christmas services and how excited we were to see the children's choir. Oh. This is your first year directing it, right? Oh, yes, it is. In fact, uh, I've got a rehearsal in just a little bit, so really need to be going. We were so blessed to have had Nancy as a children's choir director for the past 20 years. I know. But, 
you know, I know you'll just do them absolutely perfectly. Oh, from your lips to God's ears, Darlene. Now, really, I need to finish my shopping. I saw Deacon Joe the other day at the parish council meeting, and he told me that Jimmy was coming home for the holidays. We are so blessed at St. Joseph's to have our own real-life war hero to call our own. You must be so proud. How long was he deployed this time? Well, I haven't seen him in a little over a year. I'm making his favorite Christmas Eve dish, my famous mac and cheese. The one you brought to the Catholic Lady Society <laughs> luncheon. Martha, I know you said it was a secret recipe, but you simply must tell me what it is. I've been trying to recreate that miracle mac and cheese for months. How about you give me the best Christmas present ever and let me know what the secret is? Well, then it wouldn't be a secret now, would it? Now, I really must be going. I need to see Beth for coffee in just about five minutes. Oh, Don't have much time. I haven't seen her in ages. How is she? Merry Christmas, Darlene. I'll see you at Mass. That woman could talk to a brick wall. God gave her the gift of gab, that's for sure. Now, for my final secret ingredient, dry mustard. But I better make sure Darlene is gone before I get it. Otherwise, it'll be all over the bulletin by next Sunday. Dry mustard. Mm. Oh. Hey, I need that. I'm sure you've whipped up a casserole, many casseroles in your time, so I know you can whip up something just like that. Merry Christmas. Oh, no. Ex excuse me. Could you please go look in the back and see if there's any more dried mustard? Sorry, ma'am. Everything you got is already out. It's Christmas, you know. You don't understand. I need this. My son is coming home, and I haven't seen him in over a year. I miss him so much. Look, and I lady, gotta... I was supposed to be on my break three hours ago. If it ain't on the shelves, we ain't got it. If you needed it that bad, you should have been here earlier. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Bess, I gotta meet Bess. Well, maybe she's got some dried mustard and she can bring it over later. I'll ask her. It's gonna be okay. It's gotta be okay. This has to be the best Christmas ever. I can't believe we have to go to bed time for a census. This couldn't have come at a worse time. How can we be expected to travel when... You are so far along with child. Yes, but we must follow the orders of Caesar Augustus. I'd much rather travel in my condition than have you imprisoned for not following the decree. Trust in the Lord, my love, for he will protect us. Only I procured a sturdy horse for the journey. Thank God my cousin let us borrow his donkey. So you don't have to walk. And I don't even know if I packed enough skins of water. What will we do if we need more? And uh, the tents. I don't even have a tent for us to sleep under, just these woven mats. And I only have enough ground wheat and olive oil only just for 10 days. Surely that's enough, right? Maybe I could go to the market and buy some fresh fruit for the journey. It will be fine. We don't require extravagant things. God will provide for all that we need. Larry, you are carrying the Son of God. What will happen if we reach Bethlehem and you go into labor? Everything has to be perfect if you are to deliver on our journey. No matter what we do, it will be perfect. This child is a gift from God, not just to us, but to the whole world. I know, Mary, I just, I just want to take care of you the way you deserve to be cared for. I have you and my faith. What else could I ever need?
Rachel, you're the one waiting on me. <laughs> We're being funny today, are we? You would not believe the circus that was the grocery store. There were people everywhere, and children dressed up as fruits. And just because I was in such a hurry, I had to run into the most talkative person in our entire parish, Darlene McCormack. And she nearly talked my ear off. I tried to exit that conversation at least a hundred times, and that lady could just not take the hint. Then there was this mean, crotchety old lady. Can you believe she stole the last container of dried mustard right out from under me? Which reminds me, you don't happen to have any dry mustard at home, do you? I don't think I've ever bought dry mustard in my entire life. I need that for Jimmy's mac and cheese. Hi, are you ladies ready to order? Yeah, I'll have a coffee, two creams, two sugars, please. Do you have any more of your peppermint mocha lattes? I can't seem to get enough of those this season. Absolutely. Would you like anything from the bakery, my famous apple pie? Mm, just the drinks, please, thank you. I'll, I'll get those right in for you. Thank you. Can't seem to work up an appetite with all this stressful planning. Sorry I'm so stressed right now. Thanks for taking time to meet me for coffee today. Mom made it look so effortless, and yet it was so perfect every year. I don't know how she did it. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. You know, that's actually why I asked you here today. I just wanted to check in with you and see how you were handling things, being that it's our first year without her. How are you, how are you handling things? It comes and it goes. To tell you the truth, I haven't had much time to dwell on it. Mm, it comes and goes for me, too. I actually started seeing a therapist. She's really helped me work through all this grief. You know, I could give you her card. Like, I have time for that right now. <laughs> OK, so maybe therapy isn't your thing. All I'm saying is that I started feeling a lot better once I started talking about it. You know. You're my only sister, so I want you to know you can always come to me and talk to me if you need to talk about it. Well, I just feel like the best way to cope with it is to carry on their traditions. Christmas definitely was mom's thing. Remember that year she made us dress up as elves and pass out gifts for the Elf Louise project? Oh my gosh, I almost <laughs> forgot that. Oh, yeah. And can you believe that she got dad to dress up as Santa? Mm -hmm. And he kept trying to do that Santa voice. And every time it would come out sounding like Mrs. Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe that following Christmas, dad was already gone. Yeah. Yeah, but even then, she was able to pull off the best Christmas ever. She just had some magic. She made it so wonderful. And I just feel like my sanity is slowly slipping away. You know, Martha, you don't need to make Christmas a big production this year. Everyone would understand. It's OK to make healthy boundaries, especially when you're grieving. Did your therapist teach you that? All I'm saying is we don't need a big Christmas hoopla. It doesn't need to be about fancy dinners and decorations. We can just be us family together. It's a little late for your healthy boundaries conversation with tomorrow being Christmas Eve. I have the children's choir in just a little bit. And tomorrow, oh, well, the whole parish is waiting for me to fill in for Nancy and make it so wonderful like she did for 20 years. And then I'm hosting 13 people at my house, including Hal's overly critical mother-in-law who thinks that she's Julia Childs. I have a million things to do, including now having to find the last dry mustard on earth because Jimmy's finally coming home. And if I don't organize and plan and get this all together, who is going to do it? You? Martha, all I meant was that. Here's your coffee Thank with cream and two sugars. Thank you. Ma'am, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems we've run out of the peppermint syrup needed for your latte. Of course, can you I did. get you anything else? Oh. Let's see. A glass of water, please. No ice. Thank you. Martha, are you, sh are you sure you're OK? Mm, don't forget, you're bringing the dip. Oh, thanks for reminding me. I almost forgot. 
don't thank me. I'm just doing what I always do, which is keeping track of everything for everybody, including you. Martha, I don't want to fight with you. It's been a hard year for the both of us. Yes, it has. Which reminds me, I'm going to leave a little early after dinner. It's gotten really crowded down at the shelter with this cold front moving in. What? You left early on Thanksgiving, too. Don't those people get enough of you? You have family, too, you know. Weren't you just the one saying that all we need to do is gather together as family? Martha, those people need help. They need me. I'm coming for dinner. I'm just going to dip out a little early. I figured you would understand. No, I understand perfectly. You are so selfish, and this is so typical. Can't you, for once, think about what I'm going through, trying to put this all together alone instead of trying to be Mother Teresa? You know what? I don't have time for this, Mary. You do what you want to do. Tired of being the one who always takes the lead. While you, my younger sister, follow a different creed. You're always out there, always lending a helping hand. I can feel the anger, the frustration starting to take command. Every time there's a task, you are nowhere to be found. Off on all your missions, spreading chaos all around. I'm left with all the burdens, all the responsibilities, while you're off saving the world. and never thinking of me. Oh, selfish sister, can't you see? You're blind to the struggles overwhelming me while you're busy making others' lives brighter. My load is getting heavier, while yours is always lighter. I wish you understood this weight that's on my spine. Being in charge of everything, my life is out of line. You're always reaching others, but reaching me never. I'm simply asking out for the best Christmas ever. sister can't you see you're blind to the struggles overwhelming me while you're busy making others lives brighter my load is getting heavier while yours is always lighter I'm tired of being the one who always takes the lead. Always fulfilling others, never filling my own need. Please, dear sister, I need a loving hand. I can feel the hopelessness enter and start to take command selfish sister
dear? Are you sure you're okay? Yes, my love, I'm fine. You seem kind of down. What's wrong? I was just thinking about my mother and how she isn't going to be there to help with the birth. I miss her. Oh, Mary, I, I hadn't even thought about that. I, I feel terrible that marrying me means that you have to be torn from your family. Do not trouble yourself, husband. I do not blame you for any of this. I simply miss my mother. But that doesn't change the fact that you must follow the Emperor's command. No, I, I'll make it up to you. When, when we return home to Nazareth, we'll have a banquet to celebrate the birth of the child. We'll invite all of our kin from near to far. The child's birth will be all the celebration you need. You have such a kind heart, Joseph. I thank God every day for choosing you to provide for me and this holy child. I see the sun is beginning to set. Shall we make camp somewhere for the night? Yes, my love. We, we shall make camp over here. Please, we've got to get ready. This is our last rehearsal before our Christmas Eve celebration. It's wonderful to see you. So let's get our songbooks. Get them open. Isabella, do you have a songbook? Miss Martha, did you know that reindeers can swim? Like in the ocean? That's very interesting. And did you know that boy reindeers are called bulls? Oh, okay. And do you have a songbook? No. <laughs> All right, let's open to page 43. Ooh, everybody. What page are we on? 43, Silent Night. Got it. Okay. Yes, yes. We got to get this sounding wonderful, okay? Let's go. One, two, three, and Silent, Silent Night. night. Holy, Holy Night. night. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Isabella. God has given you such a strong voice, but this song is about peace and tranquility. So can you try to sing a little more softly? Yes, Miss like, Martha. Okay, wonderful. Let's take it from the top again. One, two, three, and silent night, holy night. Isabella, what is it? Miss Martha, I gotta go real bad. All right, go ahead, but we're gonna keep singing while you're in the restroom because we have not a lot of time today. Okay, let's go, all is calm. All is calm, all is bright, wonderful. Round your mother, mother and 
child, holy infant, so beautiful, said my sleep in heavenly peace, sleep, I Isabella, how did you get finished so quickly? Uh, never mind, I don't want to know. Um, let's see, maybe you should move over this way. Yeah, closer to me, there you go. Uh, how about right there, that's wonderful. Now come on, we have to get this song wonderfully perfect because Miss Martha has a hundred things to do. Her son is coming home from the Air Force tomorrow. And I have so many things to get ready. Super excited, so wow. <laughs> Are we ready to see? What is it? Does he fly airplanes? I don't think so, Isabella. Does the airplane have big guns on it? No. I saw this movie one time where Isabella, the... enough. We really need to get through this song. Okay? Okay. Come on. Let's start from the top again. One, two, three. And silent night. Holy night. Beautiful. Sleep in heavenly peace. Ooh, beautiful. Sleep in heavenly peace. Okay. <laughs> I think that might be all the time we have because uh, I really have to get ready to go soon. So, oh, Emmett, are you getting sick? Allergies. Hmm. Well, hold on a moment, everyone. Put your books back where they belong. Please tell your mom to make you some hot tea with lemon. And where is Aliana? I'm loading it. Oh, could you please make sure everyone gets one? Now, wait, wait, wait first. What time do we have to be at the church tomorrow? Four! Wonderful. And what color are we going to wear? Red. Purple. Uh, Thank you, Isabella. All right, make sure everyone gets one, please. And go back to see. Okay, share. There you go. Make Santa happy. All right. Oh, 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 my phone, my phone. Oh, 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 oh. that's Jimmy's special ring. Oh, I got it. Hi, honey. Oh, yes, I'm just finishing children's choir practice right this very moment. Yes, they're so excited to meet you. Yes, they want to know all about planes and all about military and all about your uniform. And I've got a room ready for you. And... Sweetheart, you told me they already approved your leave. No, they can't do that. You didn't come home for Thanksgiving. You weren't even here for Grandma's funeral. But I thought, uh, I understand it's the military, honey. But, yes, I'm listening. Do you think you can be home by New Year's? Okay, honey. Just be safe. Bye, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mary, look, I could see Bethlehem on the horizon. Frigus Edica. But husband, I'm feeling quite weary. Do you mind if we stop and rest for just a moment? Yes, yes, please sit and rest a while. There are so, so many people. 
people on the road. I never knew so many people were from such a small town. Yes, but an important uh, town in our people's history. It is where King David was anointed by the prophet Samuel. Well, yes, here, please, take some of mine. Thank you kindly. We must get back to walking. But why the rush? Uh, my Stop wife and walking. I were just about to have a bite to then. eat. You are welcome to join us and visit for a while. Forgive us, but I don't know if you've ever been to Bethlehem. It's quite small, and lodging will be in scarce supply. Thank you again. Maybe we should get back on the road. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do if there aren't any lodging and supply. It will be fine. God has provided for us so far, there's no reason to believe he won't continue to do so for the rest of our journey. Thank you for allowing me to rest. I think I'm ready to get back on the road. Come on, donkey. We must hurry. Aren't you finished with those napkins yet, sweetie? I can fold napkins just fine, dear. The normal way. They're just napkins. People be getting dirty anyway. I don't understand why well, you've got me trying to perfect some Master Lovell origami swans over here. Not swans, Hal. Triangles. Not swans, just triangles. You know what? Never mind. I'll take care of it. I'll just... Do it myself. Look, I know you're upset about Jimmy's leave getting canceled, but that's no reason to... You know what? Can you go to the garage and bring me Mom's big blue bowl? It's in a box labeled Mom's Things. I need that for the mac and cheese. Can you handle that? What box? By the bikes near the entryway. There's a box that's been there for months. You pass it every day when you come in and out. It says Mom's Things. Big blue bowl in the box that says Mom's Things. Right. Blue bowl, box. Got it. <sighs> Sometimes I'm amazed he can dress himself in the morning. <sighs> okay. Now just two more. Just get back. The door, Hal. Uh, never mind. I'll get it myself. Whew, I have to do everything around here. Coming. Hello. Hello, mother. <laughs> Beth, you've lived in this house for 18 years. You do not have to knock on the door. Mother, I just simply want to respect you and father's personal sanctuary. I don't want to mess up the home's auras. You know, my yoga instructor told me the other day, entering someone's home without their permission can only lead to bad karma. Karma? Hmm. That must be what it is. I must have stepped on a ladybug yesterday or something, and that's why everything is going so horridly. Mm -hmm. Trinity, <laughs> great to see you, girl. O-M-G, Grandma. You are killing it in that apron. No cap. Let me get a shot of that for my Insta. Insta? Beth, did you finally break down and buy an Instapot? Mother, I know you're making a turkey and all, but I bought this amazing tofu with this non-GMO organic gluten-free marinade that would taste just like the real thing. How can it taste like turkey if it's made of beans? I'm not confused. Mother, do you know the horrors of the poultry commercial industry? They pump those poor things full of antibiotics and hormones and... Okay, it's fine. Eat your bean turkey. Oh, and I also bought a half gallon of soy milk for my gluten-free, low-carb, overnight oats, okay? Yeah, I already got a carton, and I had to brave the circus that was the grocery store to get it and talk to the most talkative person in our entire oh. parish to get it, Darlene McCormack. Oh. So uh, you better consume every ounce of it. Hi, Lynn. Martha, where's your bow? Oh, hi, honey. Hello, father. 
And there's my beautiful granddaughter. My goodness, look how grown up she is. Mm. I asked you to bring mom's big blue bowl. Does this look blue to you? All right, Jeesh, I'll get you the blue bowl. Then they're going to be very disappointed, sweetie. Your Uncle Jimmy can't make it this year. What? What do you mean? Well, something about broken airplane and they're not letting anyone leave until it can be repaired. Mother, isn't that a direct violation of their basic human rights? What can we do? Well, sweetie, we have the children's choir at mass first, so it'll be after mass that we eat. Merry Christmas, where's my presents? Merry Christmas, Mer where's my presents? Oh, now that's my cue to go. Mother, I'm gonna do some yoga outside in the backyard to just uh, de-stress. Hey. Hey. And it's Miss Garcia, I better not be packing up to grandma's house. Troy. You take your brother to the bathroom? Troy, Troy, Troy. Huh? Will you take Dax to the bathroom? Please hurry. Whatever. I want mommy, I want mommy. Geez, Jason, how long did it take to park the car? She, I had to check my fancy football update. The game starts an hour and it's the playoffs. Hey, pups, can we get that pregame on? Man. We're gonna destroy Philly today. This is our year, I tell ya. Super Bowl, baby. Uh, what is that? I'll tell you what it's not. It's not my mom's big blue bowl. Well, what? You said blue bowl. It's blue. Hey, Martha. That was a long drive. Where's dinner? That was a long drive, and I'm starving. Long drive for you? Yeah, that must have been real hard for you while you were listening to sports radio the entire time while Dak and Emmett were fighting the entire time over there. So sorry, it was so hard for you. Uh, honey, you know I'm winning my fantasy league. I had to check the injury update. Hal, for the love of all things holy, will you please go into the garage beside the bikes in the box labeled mom's things and bring her big blue bowl to me. I don't want a small bowl. I don't want a red bowl or a yellow bowl. I want a big blue bowl. Can you handle that? All right, big blue bowl, take three. Hey Pops, who do you think I should put his tight end? I was thinking Kelsey, but... Oh, Lord help that man if he comes back here with anything other than my mom's big blue bowl. Hey Mom, I broke this. Oh. And Miss Garcia, get back here right now. It's okay, Rachel, just give it to him. It's just a cheap ornament. That about tracks with all the trouble I've been having today. What can I do to help? Hey, Kevin. Hey, Dad, did you go potty? Hey, uh, Troy, did he go to the bathroom? Troy, Troy, Troy. Huh? Did, will you take off those darn forsaken headphones and have you even said hello to your grandma yet? Whatever. Hi, Grandma. Aren't you burning up in that sweatshirt? I'm fine. How's school? Fine. Are you still singing in that rock and roll band? What's it called? The Angry Kids? The Church of Angst have disbanded over creative differences. Now I go sit down now. Okay. Go get some rest. What was that all about? Don't even ask, Mom. You know how it is, raising teenage boys. Remember how it was until Jimmy joined the service? By the way, what time is he getting here? Uh, your brother isn't really gonna make it this year. Oh gosh, what happened? Hello, Hello sister. I thought I heard you coming in. How are you doing? Oh, you look stressed. Hi, little sis. You know me, just living the dream. Dad, can you just use the restroom? Yeah. Really? Okay, I think okay, I should take your kid to the restroom. I will. Come on, Dad. Let's go. Thank God it's the last time I have to go through potty training. Don't worry, Mother. I'll get it. Don't worry. Thanks. And I thought the grocery store was a circus. There's 
My beth -Aroni. come give your favorite uncle a hug. Hello, Uncle Randy and Grandmother. You're looking well. Are you using those vitamins I told you about? I already told you, Bethy. I ain't taking those hippy-dippy happy pills. I've gotten by for 85 years just fine without them. So I'll give your granny a hug. Oh, Martha, my favorite sister-in-law. Your only sister-in-law, Randy. You're looking well. Oh, Sophia, so glad you could make it. It's nice to see you. Oh, yes, sweetie, it's good to see you too. Although I'm not used to having to drive so far for Christmas. Oh, well, the parish selected me to be the leader of the children's choir, and so we thought that we would host this year, but I'm sorry if the drive was hard for you. Oh, that's fine, dear. Where's that handsome son of mine? <laughs> he's supposed to be in the garage, bringing back my mom's big blue bowl. Oh, he's such a good boy, my Hal. <gasps> Always so helpful around the house. You sure looked out for that one, you did. <laughs> this, is, this is our year, I tell you. We're gonna cruise the Super Bowl, no question. Hey, well, you made it. It's so good to see you. Oh, my amazing boy. You're looking mighty thin. I sure hope you're being fed well enough. <laughs> I see you brought me a lovely platter to serve macaroni and cheese. Uh, I'll just go get it myself. I have to do everything around here. Hey oh. there, big brother. You gotta come check out my new ride. Death trap, you mean. So what midlife crisis did you buy this time? Cherry red Audi. <laughs> oh, look what I found. It's Mom's big blue bowl. And you'll never guess where I found it. In a box labeled Mom's Things. Hal, if it were a snake, it would have bit you. Honey, I'm sorry. I looked everywhere. I swear. Hey, Pop. Can we get that pregame on yet? I need to check the weather in Philly for my injury update. <laughs> Not before he comes and checks out my new chick magnet. <laughs> oh. Come on, Jace. Let me show you what a real man drives. Oh, that boy has expensive toys. He's never going to settle down. How could he possibly find a respectable wife while driving around in that ridiculous contraption? Oh. Too bad Randy didn't take after his older brother. My, how is such a sensible and respectable young man. Mother, grandmother, Uncle Randy has the right to the lifestyle he chooses, okay? He doesn't have to settle down. That is such an antiquated remnant of the patriarchy. He has a right to his lifestyle, and it's just that, because it's his choice to make. Oh, I guess your husband chose a different lifestyle last year than right. Ex-husband? <laughs> Martha, let me give you a hand. You know how my Hal loves my cooking. Oh, I've got it under control, Sophia. That's all right. I really could use help with rounding up people to get ready for math. Oh, dear. That sure is a lot of cheese you're using. <laughs> That's what makes it taste so good. I assume you're making my famous oyster stuffing. That's always been my Hal favorite. Oh, well, it'll have to be plain old stokers this year, Sophia. The doctor said that Hal has to cut down on his sodium. And uh, your oyster stuffing is not so good for his blood pressure. Psst. Sodium's where all the flavor is. He doesn't need to cut down. Just add a bit of some good old onion juice. That'll cure him right up. Onion juice? I've never heard of onion juice used for anything like that before. Mm -hmm. Hi, Granny. Hi. Hi, sugar. Oh, come on, give your great granny some kisses. No! Actually, Rachel, grandmother is right about this for once. I met a shaman, and he used to use onion juice all the time for his blood pressure, and it worked wonders. Well, I don't have any time to conjure up some onion juice just now. So it'll have to be plain old stokers for this year. Now, could someone please help get people dressed? It's almost time for mass. When is that handsome grandson of mine showing up? It feels like it's been ages since I've seen him. Well, grandmother, our government has decided to. Yes. 
Granny, listen, Sophia. Jimmy's not coming this year. Something about a broken airplane, but it's all right. He's safe. It'll be okay. Now, can you please get people ready for mass? <laughs> I'm telling you, boys, I can't keep the ladies away from me when I'm in that thing. Hey, babe, you gotta check out Randy's new car. I gotta get me one of those. Well, why don't you stop worrying about some midlife crisis car and worry about getting your sons ready for mass? Don't I coach them every Sunday for football? Yes, you coach them on the field, but who does all the planning, all the scheduling, and snacks, and laundry? Hey, is, Pop, can we get that pregame one yet? Is your brother real? Uh, sure, Jason. Is your brother really drinking a beer 20 minutes before mass? Well, he's a grown man. I'm hungry lunch dinner. Emmett, no balls in the house. I'm hungry lunch dinner. Put the ball down. I'm hungry lunch dinner. <sighs> huh? Whatever. Merry Christmas, everyone. <gasps> oh, what is that? P please tell me that is not the entirety of the dip you brought for 13 people. Actually, Grandma, I threw these seven to nine four just pointed out to me that technically there's only 12 left since uh, we're going to get a mix. Oh, you done did it now, girl. <laughs> Of all the selfish and inconsiderate things, I gave you one thing to take care of, the appetizers. I have been busting my bumps for the past two weeks to try to make this the best Christmas ever for everyone, and this is what you bring this. Uh, Martha, I'm really sorry. Enough, enough, I've had enough of you. I've had enough of all of you. You listen to me and listen good. We have 10 minutes left to get ready for math. Get ready and meet me back here in 10 minutes, everyone. Do you hear me? 10 minutes! So no pregame then? Lord, I know you are good, and I have faith that you will provide, but we've already been turned away by two inns. I can feel the child stirring within me, and I know the time is near. Lord, it is hard not to get discouraged. And poor Joseph is trying so hard to provide for us. Please, Lord, give us a warm, safe place to lay our heads tonight. Please, Lord, give us a miracle. <sighs> Do they have a place for us? I'm so sorry, Mary. This, this one's full as well. Joseph, what are we going to do? Am I to give birth to him on the side of the road? We'll just keep trying. I'll knock on every door if I must. Oh. Yes, but we must hurry. We do not have much time left. 